I might, I might need this. My voice is not too strong. Yet yeah, tomorrow, it's a special day. It's a, it's a big day. Um, a sacred day. Um, this great peacemaker in El Salvador, Bishop Oscar Romero, kind of put it this way. He said that we can all do something for peace and we can do it very well. And we have had a lot of people in our movement for many years who have been doing it very well. Something happens when we cross that line. Um, over 200 of our people have done that over the years. And we all acknowledge uh, it has, in some very special and unique way, it has energized our movement. It has helped it to grow, to blossom. Tomorrow, 11 more of our sisters and brothers will be going on trial. It's a very sacred moment because they will be speaking for sisters and brothers of Central America and other countries in the South who cannot come here to Columbus, Georgia, to that courthouse and tell their story. They really rely on us to do that. We will also be putting our country's foreign policy in that school down at Fort Benning on trial. And each of us in our own, at times, you know, humble ways, uh, we try to address that. When they sent us to prison and when they will send you to prison, uh, we have learned long ago that they can't silence us. We speak from these prisons from around the country. We discovered long ago, as did so many before us, our spiritual leaders and great peacemakers like Dr. King, Rosa Parks, Dorothy Day, Mahatma Gandhi, Cesar Chavez, and so many others. They have taught us that the truth cannot be silenced. It simply can't be silenced. We will speak wherever we are, wherever we have our feet. Tomorrow you'll be going before uh, Judge Faircloth. For a number of years we had this judge, uh, Robert Elliott, they're well known as Maximum Bob. <laughs> when Maximum Bob retired a few years ago, I wrote him a thank you letter. <laughs> I wished him well for his retirement and I really thanked him. I said, thank you. Judge Elliott, I wanted to say Maximum Bob, <laughs> for helping our movement grow. Because indeed, you did just that. Every time you sent us to prison, something happened. You have energized us. You have stretched us. And every time we go to prison, more people come and put their feet before that main gate of foot. And that's, that's the way it has worked. And so your witness, I must say, tomorrow, actually your witness in November, which brought you here tomorrow, uh, is something very, very sacred, something very special that has touched the lives of, of many. I notice that wherever I go, I have to always speak about our prisoners of conscience in high schools, especially colleges, church groups, and I just see how people respond when I get to that part of my story about our movement and how it has grown. When I come to the POCs and the trial tomorrow, uh, something happens. People kind of really pay attention to that. Friday night I was in Hartford, Connecticut talking to 300 United Auto Workers and there too was the same response. They started clapping when they knew that Monday they would, that you're going on trial. They see our struggle, of course, connected to theirs in the United Auto Workers. 
when we go to Latin America with our Latin America initiative over the last couple of years, we have visited 13 countries of Latin America. And as you know, five of those countries have said no to the school. Next month, we're going to Nicaragua and to Ecuador. And the response there will be the same. When we meet with heads of state, defense ministers, indigenous leaders, human rights leaders, it's the same response. They know of our movement here quite well, very well. But when we give them, when we talk and give them that book, that, um, voices, in solidarity with statements from some of our prisoners of conscience. When they hear that over 200 of our people have gone to prison and when they will hear that 11 of you are in prison, when we will be visiting them next month, something happens in those meetings. There's this, what? Come on. Come on. <laughs> they want to hear more about it because they see this as a very, very unique expression of solidarity to their struggle, to their struggle. For them to know that here in El Imperio, as they refer to our country, in El, in El Imperio, there are citizens in prison because of our solidarity with their struggle for peace and justice and liberation. And I gotta tell you, uh, they will know uh, about your child tomorrow, about your sentence. Lastly, um, we know that we're reminded often, we, we don't know how all of this affects others, um, but I'm reminded um, by Gordon Zahn, who wrote this very important book about a great peacemaker, Franz Jagenstetter. We're going to Austria in May. We're going to do a documentary on this great peacemaker who said no to violence, who said no to, mil to, to, to war, to militarism. And for that, he was killed. But for 20 years, he was forgotten. He was forgotten. He went to prison, left behind a wonderful wife, Francesca, and three wonderful little daughters. And he gave his life for peace. Uh, but for 20 years, he was unknown, forgotten by his little the people of his town, his church leaders, his country's leaders, and then something happened. People began to hear about this, this peacemaker and what he did. And what Gordon, Saan, Gordon Zahn said in his book at the end of it, he said, no witness is ever lost. No action for peace will be forgotten. And I think we've got to remember that. We don't try and judge you know, our actions. Uh, we're not worried about being successful, but rather trying to be faithful. We can be assured of one thing, because I know we all have doubts when we go on trial. We want to say things more eloquently than we, we are in at times. And, but, and we have doubts while in prison, perhaps how effective our action or what we said in court really means to others or what changes it will bring. It's not that important. What we, we, what we should know without any doubts, that your witness carried out in November and tomorrow, that it will bear fruit. It will bear fruit. No witness is ever lost. No action for peace will ever be forgotten. Gracias.